In this video, I'm going to go over a difficult Venn diagram problem. So this one reads, a survey of 300 parks showed the following. 15 had camping only, 20 had only hiking trails, 35 had only picnicking, 185 had camping, 140 had camping and hiking trails, 125 had camping and picnicking, and 210 had hiking trails. So here I have my three circles. I have one for camping, one for hiking, and one for picnicking. All right, so what makes this one difficult is they don't give you how many did all three. So you have to use some, you know, some reasoning to figure out how many used all three. Usually you work from the middle, but here we have to work with what they give us. So we start out with 15 had camping only. So they give us 15 here camping only. 20 had hiking trails only. So that goes here in the blue. And 35 had pinnaking. So that's going to go right here. And then they tell us 185 had camping. All right, and 140 had camping and hiking trails. So camping and hiking, red and blue. Now that whole section where the red and blue intersect is 140, but I don't know how many and just camping and hiking and how many in all three. So I'm just gonna put 140 in the middle here for a placeholder. If I go back to 185 camping, so I have 140 and 15 so far. So I take 185 minus 140 minus 15, it leaves me with 30. So that has to be 30 here. So that camping has a total of 185. If I look at the 125 had camping and picnicking, you know, camping and picnic is the red and green. And so far I got, I know 30 for sure. So if I had 125 to 125 minus the 30 it would give me 95 that needs to be here. Okay, so that's gonna be 95 of the 140, so that leaves 45, that must be here. Okay, so that total camping and hiking intersect is still 140, but now I can split out to 95 and 45. Now I know that 210 is in the hiking trails, so I got 20, 45, and 95 already. So 210 minus 95 minus 45 minus 20 leaves me at 50. Now if I add up everything I have in all the circles, 15 plus 45 plus 20 plus 30 plus 95 plus 50 plus 35, that adds up to 290. So if we conservate a total of 300, it's gonna be 300 minus 290, there's going to be 10 left over that didn't have any of these features. All right, so if I go and answer the questions, how many had at least one of these features? So that's going to be all of them that are in one of the circles, 15 plus 45 plus 20 plus 30 plus 95 plus 50 plus 35. That came out to be 290. And how many had all three features? We said that's in the middle, so that's going to be 95. And how many did not have any of these features? That's the one that's outside all the circles, that's going to be 10. And how many had exactly two of the features? So that's where only, you know, the sections where two overlap only. So that includes the 30, the 45, and 50, which gives us 125. 
So this was a you know a little bit harder example where they didn't give us the middle number first so we can work our way out. But they give us enough information so that we can figure out all the other ones and you know basically almost worked from the outside to the middle.